when you see these videos, I want you to really take them in, be entertained, be wowed, okay? Because the, vi the footage you're going to see is amazing. But I want you to really try to digest this because as I've been going through these videos, it's just dawned on me. I know a lot of us say, oh, well, you know, UFOs are coming. They're going to be on Earth soon. Aliens are going to be here and all this sort of stuff. And I think we sometimes say that because there's a part of us that maybe wishes that come true or is excited about that um, or maybe a slight denial of it. Maybe it's just completely fabrication. It's a, it's a complete lie. It's all a load of rubbish. And everything that you see up in the sky is all man-made. And we're the only ones. But I can't help but think that sometimes we're looking at this footage with a, almost like with a shutter, with a, like a filter on it. And we're not actually understanding the implications of what could actually happen when... Things do actually land on Earth. Aliens are here and we're seeing with our own eyes things up in the sky on a daily basis. Now, whether that's going to be real UFO, real alien UFO or Project Bluebeam. But I think the way this is going. We've got to start to think to ourselves, what is going to happen when this does happen? The UFO footage and the UFO sightings. It's just more and more and more and more, okay? They're not like a rarity anymore. I'm getting bombarded with emails and Facebook uh, links and Twitter videos and things like that every single day with new footage. And it's got to be something that we, we, can't, we can't talk about lightheartedly now. What's going to happen in 10, 20, 30 years time when this is like a an actual thing because it was only a few years ago where we all everyone who spoke about UFOs were, were seen as conspiracy theorists to tin four hats, right? But now we're being listened to. Now look, I could be all wrong and it could be just something that goes on and on and on and like almost like another religion. It just carries on and we all just have to have faith, right? So the first one, uh, which was retweeted by my, my, my buddy old mate, Slapped Ham, Callan, um, he, he, he retweeted this and mentioned it and I had to save it. I've saved it twice actually in my, um, in my bookmarks on, on Twitter. But there's... At first you might see this, you go, oh, this is disco light. But I don't think it is quite like that. Because there's something that I noticed, and I could be wrong, because it's going to be difficult to see, but what do you think? I'm going to, I'm going to show you it, and let's just let's talk about it. So this was a strange phenomenon in the sky of Austria. Ha, <laughs> good day, mate. <laughs> let's put another shrimp on that, but I know it's Australia. It's a scene from Dumb and Dumber. Anyway, look. Right, here we go. So at first you think, oh, this is a disco light. And there are many disco lights out there. But there's something about this which is different. And when you zoom in, I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you. Here we go, look. Now this to me a disco light is a light that flashes on off lightning speed okay this pulses now okay i understand that it, it, it you know you can have a light that starts you know burning slowly and then gets bright i understand this but to me is it just my imagination or does the light come from the sky first and then beams down to the ground it's very it's very subtle but check it out And also that orange light that just pulsates. And then obviously you've got that other light that's spinning around it. But that to me looks like... The light comes from the cloud first and then is beaming down towards the Earth. Is it wishful thinking? Is it my imagination? Or is it exactly the same sort of timing? When it fades away, it fades away um, at the same time. But when it starts, it's like it's coming from the cloud first. 
that's quite quick. And this is the other thing. It's different it's different speeds of the light turning on and off. And that, that one single ball of light spinning around it as well, which is quite odd. Maybe there's a little bit of wishful thinking here, but it's definitely strange. And and, and why is the, the clouds just flashing orange like that? I know it's lightning going on. That's lighting up the whole sky in orange. And now I've got this one. This one is... Pfft, Mind-blowing, it really is. An encounter with giant UFO. 22nd of the 9th, 2024. Taken from a hot spring hotel on Mount Kenzen in uh, Tokushima, Japan, right? Tourists are in uproar over a giant UFO. Take a little look at this, all right? This is... I want to break this down with you. <laughs> Now, we spoke a while ago about UFOs cloaking themselves in clouds or making themselves appear like they are a cloud, right? But there's a few things that I'm thinking that I'm debunking. Now, th these lights, they do seem like it's like a reflection from the glass from behind them, okay? However, they're reacting to those lights shining. So, we're seeing it from this angle. They're seeing it from the left going forward. So what, I, it, it's just puzzling. It sort of throws my debunking out the window. <laughs> look, look at this. But see that there, just this little bit here, it, it, these lights sort of shimmered down. They, they, they shimmered down like that in front of the, like, I'm presuming this is what they're looking at as the UFO, right? So, there. So that's got to be a reflection from their kitchen, right? So this is probably what they're looking at, as well as this. There's so much to look at! I'm trying to look, they've not really got any lighting. Well, they've got obviously lighting at the back here, but they're, they're all looking at this thing. It turns off. Let's watch this again, man. So th they're looking at this right now, thinking, holy shit balls, this is a UFO here. That's definitely a reflection. These lights here is definitely a reflection. This here, this is where they react like crazy. Look. I don't know whether what they're reacting to this here or is it those lights turning on I, I <laughs> that's reflection of the kitchen Well, let me just, instead of looking at that, let's look at this. Does that change? When they start cheering, does this change in any way? <laughs> Mate, what is going on there? <laughs> it's crazy. It is crazy. If that is actually a light source from outside and not a reflection on the window, and they are reacting to that, what on earth is that and also this thing here because that is a very strange looking cloud i gotta be honest but then these lights i don't know like
like these this there's there's a frontward cloud that is moving across like that and this thing is it's just stationary very odd i want you to help me here okay now i came across this channel uh sorry account on x on on twitter i want you to help me okay the channel the account is the alien interview close a uh, case closed now i'm going to show you a screenshot this is the video here that i featured before on a video ages ago and there's a lot of back and forth about this and i'm i i, I followed this person on x and i really want to have an interview this with this person i want to interview this person okay i want to ask him a load of questions because there's a description of what he's, he, he, he says on here, which just, he, he's a true believer in this, that this is an actual alien being, but a lot of people are dismissing it. And he's gone through on his channel, a whole list of reasons why this thing's real. And I would love to be able to get him on a, like a virtual interview and just chat to him, just short time, just asking him about this video and why he thinks this is so real. Because I gotta be honest with you, like when I, it's hard to believe that this is fake. It is so good. So if you could maybe um, tweet him, message him, because I followed him, but he hasn't got his messages open, so I can't message him and ask. So if you could just do your thing and just ask him, and hopefully he can get in contact with me by DMing me, and we can arrange something, all right? Moving on. This is a video. I'm staying on X for now, okay? But this is a video from uh, Diamond S Buildings Tommy. Now, he sent me three video clips. I think it's him and his missus. Um, have, have captured something themselves and it's pretty darn interesting there's three of them and i think each one gets better and better because the first one's like the raw the second one's like the zoomed in and but let's just look at this first we're looking at this now i don't know why it's jiggity jaggedy like that it it's mm -hmm. it's like a low frame yeah. rate but their voices are not affected it's not i don't think it's, it's not time lapsed third one seems to want to come out i think it's it's just struggling with the low light so it's trying to render every sort of image so when i first saw this i was like oh okay you know is it a, is it a plane there's another one down there but first of all planes don't go that close in sync with each other, right? I mean, I'm not a pilot, but that's what I would imagine. They would need some amount of distance between each other, just for safety precautions. And again, it goes back to the other time when I said, imagine going outside, right? You're going outside, you're looking up and, and seeing the stars. How many stars are you looking at, which aren't actually stars? They could be just stationary UFOs. See, look at that. That's just gone next to it. No plane is allowed to do this. Look at this thing shooting across. Hmm. Now it's just disappeared. Did that just appear then? That's just, just, just disappeared. That might be the camera. So look, this now we're going into like a little bit of a like a closer look. And then heightened. Yeah. Oh, is this a different one? There's an F there's two right there. Look here. Three! Three of them just appeared! 
Good capture, mate. Good capture. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, um, is that another one that's just appeared? If you're wondering what's going to happen with my telescope, I've been on it once or tw twice already. I'm just learning the ropes. We will be going live with my telescope, all right? We will be. Um, and we're going to go out our sail, out out ourselves and we're gonna be capturing some ufos so make sure you subscribe to this channel right because this is what we do here it's what we do we, we investigate the ufos and the aliens yeah right here's another one Ooh. this seems like it's just the same location these things Head right to each other Some really good capture there, mate. Guys. Gone. Gone. Caspersite, have you seen this? Yeah, they're going to glow, eh? Glow too. Go to Kodimnak. Kodimnak, glow, eh? It gave us. Hang on a second. This is 13 years ago. Dear. Dear. I've got to be honest, that sounds like it seems like a bit of a promo, right? Look at these, these, these two guys' reaction when he's holding his head like, oh, look, look, the point. Look at this. What? What do you see? Oh, my God. I put my hand on my head in disbelief. Oh. Dear. Dear. That is, it, it's, it's 13 years ago. And then you pan to mate who's got an alien t-shirt. I don't know, man. I don't know about that one. Look at this capture here. Look at this thing. Look at this thing, guys. That seemed like it's like a... It's an S shape or like a horseshoe. Whoa, whoa, right at the very last second. What? Look at this thing. What could that be? It ain't a balloon and it's not a drone. Look at that. What is that? Hmm. Let's move on tap now to the people that have sent me things on my my Facebook page, Casper Site UFO. If you want to go check it out, please follow. This is the actual one, okay? Right here. Um the people are sending me so much so much ufo stuff it's so right forget about that okay is missus is put my face is a is a it doesn't matter now this is an interesting one felix Sala, salaza all right sent me this amazing picture of a amazing video of an eagle here or kestrel whatever it is look at this that's a beautiful bird right there you missed it you missed it. Right there. Look at that. Let's do that again. Is that? What is that? Is it another? It's not another bird, is it? From a distance. It's very strange. It's a bloody good capture. Whatever you saw there, mate, well done. Like, what is that? Don't know. Don't know. This one here is sent by Mindy S. Hamilton, okay? Weird UFO. Uh, sorry, weird looking UFO. Thought you would like it. It's pretty cool. Maximum spins, please. <laughs> Check this out. Now this thing's changing course, right? Not changing direction, like course. It's, it's spinning, stopping, and then spinning the other way. See that again, slowly, look. 
Swiss stops, comes back. 360. Now it's going the other way. It stopped. That's peculiar. That's really peculiar. That's strange. It could be something blowing in the wind, but for it to spin, stop, and then spin around the other way again, that's odd. I don't know what that is. This is another great image by um, Kevin Silver, right? Here's the original. Look what he's seen there. This looks like the, the eagle one as well. Look, look how small this thing is. But then zoomed in, done a great job zooming in here, right? That, and as it's flying on its belly, like the famous um, uh, pilot that caught that silver UFO flying, it flies on its belly, like Bob Lazar says that it does, right? Look at that. Amazing. That's the original. What a good capture. Absolutely good capture. Hey, Casper, this is Kevin Silver from Indiana. Love your show. Watch every episode on, your, uh, on YouTube. Took a picture of this in Fairmount, Indiana, while I was working uh, doing lawn care, and it was about to storm, so I took pictures of the clouds because they looked very odd. And this is what I caught in my photo, which I, I did not notice until after reviewing my photos. I emailed this to you, but maybe it got lost in your emails. It does, mate. Emails is just at the moment. I'm going to have to get somebody to manage my emails. I'm going to have to. It's got to that stage now. But I love your show, and there is aliens out there, and I do believe, but please show this in one of your YouTube videos, please. It would be an honor if you did. Okay, here you go, mate. That's brilliant. What a great... That's... <sighs> mate, it's hard. Like... Mate, this isn't AI. That, that's not AI has done that, I don't think, mate. I, I really... I, it, it's not AI. It's not a drone. That looks like a damn good capture of a UFO, mate. Well done. And this is what I'm saying. How many times are UFOs flying above us that we just don't even capture? This is some dude who's just mowing the lawn, looks up and goes, that's a nice sky, click, and he just manages to find a UFO. It's crazy. <clears throat> now, this one, Trevor um, Hanfling, this is weird. I don't, know, I don't know what to make about this. This photo looks doctored. It really does, but... Somebody's just gone out of their way to send it to me. I don't know. This was taken 2017 in the Sunshine uh, Coast, hinterland in Queensland. Look at this, right? It just doesn't look real, man. I, I'm, I'm showing it, but it just doesn't look real. And then we've got a black and white here. It's so weird. But nothing surprised me. The amount of shapes and things that I've seen in the sky now, that, that I, you know, video footage and photos that people have sent me, and I've, I've looked at myself. Nothing surprises me. Okay, now this part of the video is about the, the triangle UFOs that a lot of people see, otherwise known as the TR3Bs. And before looking into this, I wanted to sort of double check what the TR3B is. Now, I chat GBT'd it. The TR-3B is often described in UFO lore and conspiracy theories as a secret black project aircraft developed by the, by the US government or military, typically under a black budget program. It is said to be advanced triangular shaped anti-gravity aircraft with stealth capabilities. However, there is no viable evidence to support its existence and is largely considered a part of the UFO mythology or speculative fiction. All right? Key features of the TR-3B, triangular shape, anti-gravity propulsion, nuclear powered, Aurora project, super stealth capabilities. I also asked a question, when was the, the first sighting? Apparently the first sighting of the TR-3B, the triangular UFO, was in Belgium in 1989. That's 43 years ago. Now... 89. That's 43 years ago.
35 years. 35 years. Now, that's 43 years ago. Now, I've just got to say this. If that was a military project, and it was first seen 43 years ago, and apparently these things are being tested, how long do you have to test these things for? You've got anti-gravity buddy technology, cloaking technology, and you're still testing them? With all of these wars going on around the world in the last 43 years, and you're still not using them? Come on, man. All right, come on. What are you doing? Like, fly yeah, that works really well. Now make it disappear. Brilliant. Now make it just go supersonic speed. Yeah, brilliant. We won't use it, though. We won't use it. We'll wait another 43 years. No, no. So I don't know, mate. I don't know whether this is actually government tech. So I'm going to show you some TR3Bs now, all right? Um, oh, actually, first, before we get to the TR3Bs, I want to show you this. This is from a channel called Portal and UFOs, all right? No, it's not. <laughs> That's the video. Mavi777, check out this horseshoe-type-looking uh, UFO, all right? Here we go. Look at this. Imagine seeing that up in the sky, guys. Imagine seeing that up in the sky. Maximum zoom, by the way. Hats off to you for zooming in on that. This is in South Carolina, baby. Come on. Look at this thing. And the, and the colors as well. This, this doesn't look like separate lights flickering on and off. This is like a morph, like an RGB type light going through it. It's amazing. Anyway, I wanted to show you that, but I've got a shout out to a channel, which this person, I, I, I think that you need to go over to this person. If you're into UFOs, okay, um, Chaos Moogle, dude, your videos are amazing, okay? This is his channel here, right? He's got 514,000 subscribers and he does so many good UFO videos, okay? covers them all the time so make sure you go to his channel subscribe and do the thing now he recently covered this um tr3b but before we get into this one which he's found which is absolutely amazing okay so and thank you um to the people on my facebook page who have sent me this link all right but i've subscribed to him for ages so he came up on my feed and i saw the pictures i like, what um so i want to show you before we get into this, a couple of the TR3B videos. Now, mate, this is this is ridiculous. Check out this. This is the first one. Triangle Craft TR3B. Look at that. You're telling me that the US government made this 43 years ago and they're still not using it? Or are they? Are they using it? But they're denying it. And they've been using it for 43 years. But the problem is, mate, if matey Joe Bloggs down the road is managing to capture this, right? Where are, they, where are the US government flying this thing? Why aren't all these other countries recording it? What, what, like... It must be some sort of surveillance. It's like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what... But something just doesn't quite add up about that. It doesn't add up about it, mate. Imagine if we did have that anti-gravity propulsion. Look at it, mate. Don't worry. It gets better. And I think the reason I'm thinking about this is because of the last video I'm, I'm showing you. This is... The last video I show you... Basically, I haven't seen the whole thing yet. I've just seen, I've got to be honest, a few screenshots, but I thought it's so good. I've got to make a video about it. Just the screenshots alone, all right? 
So what this is what made me doubt that it could potentially be um, U.S. government, right? I, I'm starting to change my mind on this TR3B, right? Look, look at this one as well. This is from a, a channel called Finding UFO, another another channel that I've subscribed to. Look at this. Hey guys, Rico here from Finding UFO. I found an interesting footage of a triangular shaped UFO filmed in night vision. It's a bit old, but we haven't shared it on the channel before. Mm. So let's take a quick look and we'll talk about it afterwards. See, that's only got the three lights though, right? Oh, look, look at it. Maybe that's not the TR-3B. That is amazing. It's going to, I, I want to see it like change direction real rapidly. But I don't think that's the TR-3B. I got a feeling that's something different. Or is it? Now, this is what I know about this footage. It was captured over La Vlas del Pi in Spain, near the mountain with Campana on May 8th, 2023. Mm. And it was captured with an NVG-10 night vision camera. Now, in the footage, we can see this object, which looks like a triangular-shaped UFO. The movement looks like three separate objects, but it might be one object with three lights. That's a good point. It could be three because they, they, they do work simultaneously with each other as well, don't they, these UFOs? Right, okay, the, the grand finale. And I want to watch um, Chaos Moogle's view on it, right? Okay, let's have a little look at this. Because of that cube within a sphere UFO we just saw, but also because of this, this sighting of this giant black triangular craft, <laughs> possibly a TR-3B, possibly extraterrestrial, seemingly descending onto the earth and landing. This is better, clearer footage than the dash cam footage of the Vegas incident when the craft fell from the sky. Like this is so much clearer. We get so much more clarity and detail. Smash like, subscribe, and y'all check this out. Oh. Oh, no, no. And let me know in the comments. This one, you have to let me know in the comments. <laughs> what do you think about this? Look at this! That just came out of it! This thing just came out of it! But see, that's got three lights as well, like the video we've just seen. I'm sure the TR-3B has got like three down the side, like a V. Now the one on the side went out. Not completely. Mate, what in the futuristic shit is going on here? Look at this thing! This is straight from the bloody Matrix, man. What, like, like, what is this bit here, though? See, that's... I mean, it could be the light source, like, flashing up against it, but it seems like it's being held by something, dropping it slowly. Now the one on the side went out. Is it, is it like a, I Not don't know, completely. man. It's like, a, it's like a parachute or something on top of it. Oh no, that's in front. Do you see this like parachute thing? Now the one on the side went out. Not completely. Oh, mate, imagine seeing that in real life. In uh, what? Bro, get out of here. You're not going to tell me <laughs> that was normal. You're not going to tell me that was a drone or. Yeah, uh, it's not a drone, mate. <laughs> a swamp gas 
reflecting the light of Venus. No, get <laughs> out of here. That was a UFO landing. We need to know what the hell is going on. There you go, guys. I hope that's enough for you for today. I thought they were absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the people that have subscribed, right? Double check your subscribe. We've just hit 800,000 subscribers, man. We're on the road to a million. Can't wait. Um, and, and, and thank you also to the people clearly have sent me this this footage these videos these photos you're an absolute legend thank you so much anyway i'll see you on the next one take care bye bye